Uh, Keith, three one defeat here at home in the Dublin Derby. What for you didn't go right out on the pitch today? Uh, probably everything, Colin. Uh, so um, first half we conceded some 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 bad goals, but uh, more than just the goals, I think you know Rovers coming flying out of the traps first fifteen minutes, twenty minutes they bust the game. Um, the first to most things that, that, that drop, you know, they're, they're, they're doing the basis of the game well, winning tackles, winning headers, uh, asking questions of us at set play time, which we, we, we knew they would. Um, we didn't deal with that, you know, at set plays, you know, um, some of our marking le left a lot to be desired. And then and then after conceding the opening goal and, and JT, James Talbot makes a couple of really good saves. Um, we can see the, an own goal, second, second, second goal, which um, is really disappointing. So um, we come in at half time, we make three changes, we try to change, alter our shape a little bit. We go two up top. We're a little bit more offensively minded, we, a little bit more proactive. I thought we started the second half quite well, put a couple of balls into the box, um, created a little bit of havoc in, in, in the Shamrock Rovers area. We get a goal. And then we can see it, such a poor tour goal to take the sting out of any impetus that we had at that point. Yeah, and you, you looked to your bench at half time and then had to look to it again about 45 seconds later. Is there any update on, on the severity of the injury that Rory Feely might have picked up? I know that he wasn't really able to leave the field under his own weight in the end. He had to be carried around the pitch on a stretcher. Yeah, so he's gone off with an ankle injury to the, the extent of which we don't know at this point. So um, that's, that's difficult. J J Jordan Darty came in, did well in an unnatural position for him. Um, but listen, we got what we deserve tonight, which was which is zero. Um, the better side won, uh, the more experienced side won. You know they showed their quality. They've got some really good players, and you know we're disappointed with how we performed tonight. You know that's for sure. And you know it's it, it's not good. Our supporters were fantastic tonight. They they backed the team all the way to the end. But you know we haven't performed well enough tonight to to, to get anything from the game. So we come away uh, with zero. I know you've spoken about the frustrations associated with quick turnarounds Friday, Monday. You have a full week now to, for UCD to prepare, and I'm sure you'll be using every one of those days to, to make sure that it'll be three points next time out. Well, hopefully it gives us a little bit of time, to maybe for some of the bodies to, to recover, some of the little niggles that we've got. You know, Grant Horton having, having to go off at half time. He's been carrying a knee injury uh, for the last little while, so hopefully that gives a, li a little bit of time. Obviously, the extent of Rory's injury, we're not quite sure yet. Um, you know, Sam Sam Packham coming on tonight for, us for for 45 minutes. I thought he did reasonably well, to be fair to the lad. You know, he hasn't had much game time, so he comes into the game tonight and does well. So, um, you know, we, we've got to focus now. Obviously, you know, we'll lick our wounds a little bit now. And, and it's not nice to lose the game in the manner, particularly, that we've lost it in. Um, obviously, we wanted to perform better. We went good enough on the night. And... Um, we got to try and get back on the horse next week. Get back to work. You know, train hard, work hard, try and prepare or the team as best we possibly can. Because, you know, every every game in this league, there's something on it, and um, you know, our, our our performances need to improve to, to to see us climb up the table. You know, so um, we need to do better. And and obviously that's been the message uh, quite a number of times this year. And um, you know, that's what we'll work towards this week to try and get a good performance and a good result against UCD on Friday night. Thanks for your time, Keith. Okay, thank you.